everybody, this is Roxy, and I am on my continuing adventure of going through our family's home and possessions. And of course, we've got a lot of photos. My grandmother has albums and albums of photos, which is pretty cool. Um, these are glass negatives and um, regular negatives. Like there's a whole book full that her and her uh, ex-husband took. And um, some of these, oops, oops. So unfortunately some of these are broken. I didn't break it, they were broken. So a few of them I had to toss. Um, like this is my mom as a baby, but the, the negative is peeling off for some reason. Um, but what's cool is, and I thought I'd do this with some pictures. All of this back here is like a drawn on background. Like they draw it onto the back of the glass just to give a little more oomph. So I did scan this one and I'll show the ones that I scanned in. Um, but it's, I'm so sad that that's happening. I think I'm going to put this on a jar. Easier to pick up. So here's another one. That's one of my mom as a baby and her, her grandma. I mean her mom. And I'll show these because they are really beautiful. And you can't really see them, I guess. Here's one of my grandma. And I, I put these, I had Bill put them in the after seeing how many were breaking and they broke really easily, I touched one in it. One of them and it came in parts. So I had him put them in the recycle bin. And then the next day, because I was trying to, I tried scanning it and it just wouldn't work. Um, and I thought, hmm. So the next day I thought, I'm just going to, I really want to scan this stuff. Because there's no way I could afford to have all these developed. Plus, I don't even know if they could develop these. And them being so delicate, I was nervous about it. So I had them put them all, the glass ones, in the recycle bin. And then the next day, I thought, I'm going to figure something out. So I tried scanning the these regular ne negatives. And I'll show pictures of what I came up with by scanning them. And then I thought, maybe I need a light box. So I built myself a little light box right here not um, because you need for negatives you need backlighting so that would bounce the light you know I put this over the negative so that the scanner would light would bounce off that and light it from underneath but it didn't work or from behind I should say but that didn't work because I couldn't get this to like lay exactly flat. So I thought I still need a bouncy light. And then I remembered that going through my sister's art stuff, art stuff, art supplies, I found this little um, uh, tracing pad. I couldn't think of what it's called. I found this little tracing pad of hers. I am not hooked up to Wi-Fi. Or, I mean, I, I don't have a USB. Or do, no, I don't down here. Um, but you just plug a little USB in, turn it on, and set the negative on here or the glass plate on here. And then I have an app. You know, I just took it with my camera. Then I found this, um, what's it called? Oops. Photo negative scan. Bam. This was even easier, and this was, I think, two ninety nine. So you just, you know, like I can't do it here because I don't want to turn that. Oh, I can't turn the light box on because I don't have the USB down here. But you just do this. It'll tell you if it's too dark, which it is because I don't have the light box on. But you can still kind of take it. And then just put where you want it. And click yes. So I found this Picasso Pro 
P. What is it called? How's it spelled? Um. Oh, Pixay Pro. I guess I was adding another A. Pixay Pro, and it lets you take pictures of slides on my tracing pad. And I just got, I thought that'd be fun to use for tracing. But it's awesome, I'm so glad I caught it. Or kept it, took it. But here's one of the photos and it's so cool. And then my grandfather, where are they? Who took all these photos, or most of them, he wrote down exactly what everything was on here. So it's everything all the pictures, three bathing girls. But my na my neighbor saw the three bathing girls photo. I have it on Facebook. She goes, oh, I love those girls making their confirmation. I thought, I said, well, I think they were bathing. But when I look at it today, the one in the middle has a big ivory cross. So she's probably right. Anyways, that's that little list. Um, so the P Pixay Pro... And then you can adjust what this and that, like saturation, temperature, you know. But I didn't do anything with them. I wanted to just keep them pristine as they were shot. Because this camera, whatever they had, was really good. I mean, it's really nice quality. So um, I did the glass plates. And then, whoops, and then I did throw the rest of them away again. Because some of them were just really shards of glass or completely coming apart like my mommy. Here's another one of my grandma Belle. Doesn't really help. But I love this one. Where is it? There's one. Yeah, that one. She draped herself in a flag. Which is so cool. So that's all I have of the glass ones that are left. Again, because I was a little, you know, like even these are pretty close to being done. But I will keep these. And I scanned the broken ones of my mom as a baby. So I will show some of those. But this little technique, oops, is this little tracing pad, for instance, is $20 on Amazon. You can get the exact same one. It's Tic Tac for 20 bucks. And you might already have one. You certainly can use your computer, but I don't, you have to hold the negative like two and a half inches away from your white screen on your computer and if you can to a laptop fine but I would have had to hold them all up and I'm like Ugh, do that and then the Pixay Pro was um, $3.99 and when you get it for $3.99 then um, every picture you take they have a watermark of Pixay Pro but for another $3.99 or whatever however much it costs it, you can get rid of that. So I did that. So let me get my photos up so you can see what they turned out like. They're so gorgeous. I love it. So where am I looking? There. Here's my grandfather. At, he was a um, he was an engineer at a, like water treatment facilities. So it looks like he was down in the sewer or something. So here's my grandma, that's that one that's broken, which is kind of cool. There's my mom. See how that is, the background? It's really pretty. I wish they weren't broken, I really do. That'd be so cool to have. Here she is, that's the one I had to throw away because all the pieces of the negative were peeling off. There's the one with their mommy playing tea party. There's my grandma. Another one. Isn't that cute? My mom had the biggest blue eyes. There's grandfather that I never knew. Grandma. 
that. I love this one so much. The lace curtain, the floor, or the rug, and the electric light. And her outfit, I mean everybody, everything about this I love. I like that better. Okay. Oh, we did it backwards. Oh, that's the one I can delete. Because it's fuzzy. This one's, I don't know, oh there we go. I have to look on his list. I think this is Pittsburgh though. Because he worked out there. I must have liked that one. This one's so cool with the sun. Hazy little. You know what? I think this is St. Paul. That's the state capitol and this is Summit Avenue. Because these big houses are on Summit. And you can see the capitol. Or else the cathedral. I'll have to go drive around and see. But it's definitely a nod. She is so cute. That must have been one of her friends. Or else Grandpa had a little something, something on the side. And then this one, this paper kind of stuck to it. But I love to look on her face like, take the picture and we're getting out of here. There's my grandfather again. Isn't she cute? That's that girl again. Her name's Florence. And her baby. So I think that's it. I see any more. Oh, yeah, this one. I love this. I don't know who she is either. I could probably find out. <clears throat> and a little cabin. That's a cotton mill. For was it cotton? Cotton gin. <clears throat> Three girls bathing, that's the one my neighbor thinks they're having their confirmation. Look at the hair. So cool. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. So I'm super excited about the negative thing. Because I have a bunch of 35, 35 millimeter sleeves that I want to um, uh, reproduce. So I'm going to do that and I will show you how that goes in another video. So I'm not going to do it today. But anyways, thanks so much for watching and easy peasy, really cheap way to get through some of these old negatives if you have them. Or even your slides, whatever. But I'm so glad I figured it out because I'm super excited about it all. Thanks a lot. Bye.